Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. As I travel, as I shoot, as I teach workshops, as I lecture, I get a lot of questions. Today I'm going to take some of the ones I get most frequently and try and answer them for you. One of the questions I am most frequently asked is, how do I get started in sports photography? <sighs> yes, well, the business has changed a lot. When I started, it was a lot more wide open. Uh, my story is I made a couple of phone calls to a couple of people and they'd seen my work and I was shooting for the NFL. It's not like that today. You really have to find a way, you have to find a path. Uh, you have to shoot as much as you can on whatever level, high school, small college, whatever. You have to build up a portfolio. You have to have work that you can show people. Once you've done that, it's all about networking, contacts, meeting people, meeting other people. Uh, one thing I like to suggest is if you go, if you live near a small college, don't, don't ask to go to the football games, even at a small college, but go out and shoot the sports that nobody's shooting. Uh, lacrosse, women's soccer. Shoot that stuff and give it to the sports information director and try and build a relationship where then he will maybe let you in the football game and that could lead to work at a bigger school, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one of the paths that I think is, is a very uh, likely one for getting going in sports photography. Another very common question is, how do I get a credential? Well, the answer is you've got to earn it. Uh, you're not, there's no magic uh, secret website where you can go and get credentials. Uh, I know in the past, many people used to forge them, but not anymore. They all have holograms. They're all, it's really, it's, that's not what you want to do. Uh, work your way up. As I said in the last, uh, answer to the last question, uh, work your way up at a school. Shoot the sports nobody wants to shoot. Become uh, known to them. And then when you've done that and you've filled a need, then go and say, hey, can I do a football game? And do a good job and give them all those pictures. And then that will build. You've got you've to build your way up to a credential. That's really the only way. People like to ask me, what is it like to be on the sidelines of an NFL football game? Let me tell you, you are at the intersection between the energy of the crowd behind you and the energy of the players on the field in front of you. You're right there. It washes over you one way, it washes over the, you the other. It's, it's an almost indescribable sensation. So you're down there and it's magical and it's wonderful, but you've got to have your wits about you. You've got to, first of all, think about where you want to go, where you want to be, what's your assignment, who are you shooting. Then you've got to contend with TV cameras, cables, microphones, those, those microphones, the round ones. Uh, so many entitled people who are down on the sidelines with no apparent purpose other than to stand exactly where they want to stand and heaven forbid that you ask them to move so you can get a shot. Uh, so you've got a lot. You've got uh, actually TV moving carts. I know people have broken their legs, had their legs broken by those carts. Uh, the other photographers, some of them aren't moving as quickly as you are uh, or faster than you. So it, it's a constant. You have to be always, it's like being in a combat zone. You always have to be alert. You always have to be thinking one step ahead. Where do I want to be next? If they hit the long pass, where, where am I going? Am I going in the end zone? Am I hanging back? Am I shoot from the side? That's a process that's going on all the time in your mind while you're down there. It's busy, busy, but it's great. It's a thrill. It's fun. You know, people ask me, uh, have you ever been hit on the sidelines? And I have been hit exactly once. And this was preseason game, 
so far back that photographers were actually, we were actually kneeling on the out of bounds line. Uh, the play went this way, the guys went down, somebody who was trying to make, look good on the films and make the team came charging in after the ball was down and totally blindsided me. I went, I did a whole 360 in the air, landed on the ground, none of my gear was hurt, I wasn't hurt, but I made the, uh, the seven o'clock news for the whole week, they kept showing it. Now it's a lot different. Now we're about six yards back and the problem there is you lose the angle downfield because of the bench really quickly. And, and, and what that does and what a lot of the crowding on, on, on the football field sidelines, what that creates is it really, it moves you to the end zone. As much as possible, I shoot from the end zone. And a lot of games, I'll just go from end zone to end zone, back and forth. Sometimes I can do miles of just wa walking that 120 yards uh, between the two end zones. Um, Sidelines, more and more crowded, harder to work, farther back, bad angles, people in front of you, the TV guys are all in front of you, the chain gang, uh, it's a tough deal now. And, and again, I think the, the, the end zones, I like the corners of the end zone, that's like the, the island of calm in the chaos in the football field. So that's where I like to shoot. I'm asked a lot about working with TV cameras and TV people and, and, and the NFL films and the NFL games. And, and as far as TV, uh, it's their candy shop. We, we only play there. It's their sandbox. Uh, we have no rights whatsoever over a television camera. So they can be where they want to be. I would say 90% of the camera operators and grips and the film guys are really nice people. Uh, but they've got a job to do. They've got, they've got that producer in their ear saying, get that, get me the sideline, get in the end zone and get me the sideline. So it's no good to fight it. What's, what's good is to know these guys, know how they like to shoot, and it's different for every network. And, you know, then there's the steady cam guys, and they're just going to bust out in front of everything. But you have to know that and anticipate it and work with it because you have no choice. That's all you can do. That's TV. So those are a few of the questions that I'm often asked. Uh, please try and send me more. Uh, put them in the comments, send me an email, whatever. Uh, I will do this, uh, this kind of show again. I will answer your questions. Uh, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And um, good day.